Hey everyone, today we're going to be opening up these two containers of Spam and giving them a taste test. First container right here is brand new from 2022. And over here, the second container is also unopened from 1985. That makes it 36 years old. And there's a chance to win $1,000 inside this can. But unfortunately, the offer expired back in 1986, a year after production. All right, guys, in today's video, we're gonna be opening up these two cans to see what they look like inside. I think this one will be fine if the container didn't rust through or get severely dented where it caused an air leak. They're usually fine. Now, there's always a chance bacteria grew in here, and that's why I'm gonna thoroughly cook it very well if it does look good enough to do a taste test. Being sure to kill anything growing in it, even botulism bacteria. But here's the thing. Stuff like botulism used to be common when people used to do home canning at home with mason jars. The reason it's not really a big issue anymore, not many people do that stuff for themselves. And commercially made products like this are inserted when the stuff is extremely hot. So usually that bacteria doesn't get into the stuff, unless there's an air leak somewhere. And by the looks of it, there's no air leak. Now just take a look at the differences on these cans. This one has a key on the bottom of it that we will go and put right here on the tab, twist it around to open the whole top off. The new one doesn't have a key, unfortunately, even though that's really fun to open it. The new one just has a pull tab, which isn't really fun. This one has an expiration date of 2024. While this one here, back in those days, they weren't required to put an expiration date. There's a code here. That's about it. Now, when we open these up, we're going to put it on this burner and cook them both up really nicely. But first, we got to get to the opening. So we're going to put this off to the side. And we got different color forks so we don't get them mixed up if one of them is super nasty. We got a knife to cut it up if I decide to put it on the burner, if it looks eligible to be eaten. And we got our plates. I'm going to first dump this one out into the bowl in case it's super nasty. If it doesn't look nasty, I'll put them both on the same thing and cut them up. Now we're going to show up close both of the cans, allowing the camera to focus in on everything, in case anybody wants to pause and read it. This container is in perfect condition for its age. Absolutely perfect. The condition of a product is always how it was stored. If it was in someone's humid basement or in a place where it could get freeze and thaw cycles, such as a garage, it's going to be in horrible condition. But if it's in a climate-controlled building, such as your pantry, your closet or cabinet, it's going to look perfect well into the future. Now right here, I'm going to focus in even bigger. Those are the rules to the thousand bucks. We can't claim it. It's been way too long. Got a nice key that we're going to break off. Now the barcode became popular in the early 80s. But back in the 70s when they first started using it, a lot of barcodes were half the size. Then as more SKUs became available, they needed it much bigger. Now we're going to go look at the other can, which got the pull tab. There's the Best Buy date. Nutrition facts. All righty, looking good. Now, I'm noticing both of these, see, they're both inspected. By the Department of Agriculture. 
Now, the newer can looks a little bit beefier, but let's compare the sizes of them. They're both 12 ounces. Yes, they are. They're exactly the same size can. Although, I think... Yeah, it's because the newer one has this bigger top lip right here, where it's crimped on. That's why the newer one looks slightly bigger. But if you look on the bottom, now the older one kind of looks bigger. Just the way they're made. Now we're going to get to opening them up. Unfortunately, today is not a day for the can opener. First one we're going to open is the brand new one. There we go. I've always heard Spam lasts forever and it's a great survival food. We're going to find out today. Doesn't smell that bad at all. I have not had much Spam in my life, to be honest. I think it tastes good, but I do not like the texture of it. Don't really like that. Now, to me, it smells kind of hammy. Yep, it smells like ham. Go ahead and dump that out onto the plate. There we go. Can of Spam. That came out so nice. Now we're going to open up the old one. Got to go take off the key, which is simply just taped. Now, you can remove the piece of tape. Tape, amazingly, is still sticky. Modern tape wouldn't still be sticky after all that time. Okay, so we got to put the key on right here. Got to pull the little tab out. Oh, it's so dusty, the key. See, that looks like sheetrock dust all over my fingers. But that is from the key. Oh, it looks the same already. I always find this very entertaining, opening cans with a key. I wish they made more of them like this these days, but it's cheaper not to. Oh, that does not look good on that side. It's really bloody, honestly, like... That doesn't smell the same at all. Weird. That does not smell good at all. What the? Okay, I just smelled that like five times. It smells gross. It looks basically the same. It's a bit redder. Does not smell good. Let's dump that out and see what's on the inside of the can, too. Come on out. Ooh. See, this one has a bunch of weird white juice in there with it. But I'm still willing to cook it up. A th thin slice of it and yeah we're gonna do it that was weird I wonder if that showed up on camera I know this is a liquid but I swear I saw like a little something guess not it looked like some kind of powder just flew away but no We're heating up. I'm trying to get a nice thin slice, but consistent too. There we go. That's a pretty good slice. Alrighty. I'm going to put it in this pan.
Now the nasty one, which is also kind of soggy. It smells pretty bad. This one's also a lot softer. Trying to make a really thin slice. There we go, that's good enough. What's the middle of it smell like? Oh, it almost makes me want to throw up the way that smells. I know, guys, it may look not that bad. But it has a darker color. It's really watery. It's softer. And it stinks. Yeah, this is making the room actually reek right now. The one right here. Does not smell good. But as you see, it's still very greasy. The little cooktop I'm using right now is not the most powerful one. So it's going to take a little while. But we're going to cook that thing pretty good. And we will try a little taste test. That is very disgusting. And I want to make sure no wild animal eats that or is exposed to it. So we will give it a... Uh, we're going to throw it in the fire today. Outside so nothing can eat it. Now probably after eating this, I will have lost my appetite for this one right here. And this one will be given to some animal outside. Maybe we'll... Uh, throw it in front of a trail camera. See what comes by to eat the spam. And then we'll post trail camera footage if it does work out. I honestly don't even want to use that fork again for this. It is starting to burn, actually. Whoa. Now the next time we touch it, I'll use a different fork. Even though it's fully cooked, it's old as heck. Oh, this one's getting stuck. Even the smoke coming off it reeks. Does not smell as bad as I thought when I re-entered the room. want to cook that thing good before I give it a little taste. It is smoking quite a bit. Hopefully we don't set the smoke detector off. That smoke is horrible. Usually when you burn something it doesn't smell that bad. The smoke smell. It still smells awful up close. I got the middle part of it where it's not all burnt. Unfortunately, guys, this is not the outcome I was looking for. 
that old spam smells so bad that the only way I was comfortable even taste testing it was overcooking it. Even overcooking it, I could still taste the nastiness. Not even just burnt. The burnt didn't even cover it up. That's very gross stuff. Now, I guess this stuff does not last as long as it says. But, I'm sure definitely going to keep a little bit around. But I won't let it get to that extent. Maybe I'd keep it in my pantry up to 10 years for a emergency purpose. But other than that, I don't think it's the best prepper food. On the other hand, sardines always seem to keep themselves together for years to come. I've opened ones up from the 80s, and pretty soon we will be opening up another one from the 70s pretty soon. I'm just waiting to get it in. Now this spam right here, well, I'm not sure how much it would have cost back in the day, but this new container here is able to pick up for about $4. This other container here came from an auction for about $26, which was actually a great deal because so I know some people who are old food and tin collectors would have paid a few hundred for it in that condition. But extremely nasty. That's going to get burned now, incinerated. And the rest of that will be put in front of a trail camera. And we'll see what eats it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. All right, everybody, here it is. The other product here is from another video. And now we're going to let all this stuff burn. This is all rotten meat, and it absolutely reeks. It reeks. It's rotten. It made the whole house smell. I'm trying to burn it off right now by running the furnace with all the windows open. And I'm hoping that'll get rid of it. Okay, let's light this thing up. All right, that tissue paper. This will quickly spread, hopefully, the fire. It's extremely cold out right now. It's only about 5 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, that's lighting up fast underneath this whole thing. It's lighting up. We are lighting up. Check out underneath there. Look at all that fire. Look at all that fire underneath there. Let's wait for the products to start burning. I think it's going to make the area stink once these things get going. Look at that up there over the trees. We got a full moon. But now back to the fire. Stuff's starting to burn. We are starting to burn stuff. Fire finally spread to the far side. Yep, there goes the product. I think I, yeah, I smell one of them. Oh, it's collapsing now. There we go, the other stall, oh, the whole thing's falling in. Now we're just turned on the heat. I gotta back up. All right, we're not gonna see that stuff again. It's all engulfed. That stuff is so greasy.
Oh my gosh, guys. It's now been about an hour. It's still smoking a bit, smoldering. The whole neighborhood reeks of rotten meat. There's like this nasty, gross smell lingering because there's not much wind. It's horrible. There must be a piece of meat down there smoldering where that hot area is.